Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Good day, Winnie Sun. Thank you for joining me on the Bounder BB Show here live in Dallas, Texas. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm fine. I was talking with my, my audience, and I wanted them to know that Working Mothers Magazine has a survey on making health care affordable for families. What do you know that we don't know, Winnie? Because I thought, you know, if you've got a job, you're working, and, you know, you could afford health care. Is that a mis- misnomer? You're right. I mean, the healthcare is just one part of it, but the survey results were really interesting because of the working mothers that were surveyed, they found that nearly 50% of those surveyed didn't have enough saved up to pay for those high deductibles. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. That really is. So what's the biggest mistake uh, working mothers are making when it it comes to being able to afford healthcare? I think, you know, uh, we've got so many things pulling at us, right? I know I'm a mom and I'm a financial advisor and we've got all these expenses. But what you want to do is take a moment to really uh, review all your benefit choices this year because we're an open enrollment period for many of you and make sure that you don't just click same as last year. You want to take a look at all your choices line item by line item. Make sure you don't over-insure or under-insure for you and your family for the year. And those high deductibles come at a cost. Make sure you have plans in place to cover uh, those high deductibles. What are some of the other surprises that the survey revealed for us? Well, the the AFLAC survey also showed that many um, mothers like us, us, you know, they have a lot of things that they save for and plan for, but if they don't have something in place to cover these high deductibles, um, sometimes that means that we have to make those tough choices. We have to take monies away from like our family vacations and we have to take money away uh, from our kids' gifts and other things that are important to them like college savings. So we really need to plan. You know, you want to take a look at not only your regular medical plans, but also take a look at things like voluntary insurance. For example, like Aflac has some great uh, voluntary insurance plans for like cancer or accident or critical illness. Those things you should consider and talk to your physician about, as well as other employer benefits your, your employer might provide, like health savings accounts, one-on-one advice, benefit analysis. These are all things that as working mothers, we're gonna take a moment and just sit back and review. Has it changed in the workplace? I've worked for myself 30 years and provided help to other people as employees. So forgive me for not knowing. So in 30 years, has anyone coached people on what to choose? Because they used to just, yeah, we we wouldn't know that the benefits people were coming, but no one coached us. So you're there like the lottery. You're choosing this one and that one and that one because it sounds good. Is it changed? It does. You know, a lot of employers now are really making more of a conscious effort to help their employees with decisions. And I know, like right now, um, I've become very popular this time of the year. A lot of companies will reach out to myself and have me go in and speak with their employees and educate them about these important financial choices. And if you don't have someone like me coming in, there's still some incredible resources out there. Uh, I'm sure you had this, uh, I'm sure you use this now as because you're self-employed as well. But some of these like benefit websites, there's they're like, they're like just, they have such rich resources that you can go there and find more information about these plans. You know, take the time and don't just pick something because it's easy. Because if you, you want to make sure it's the right plan for you and not just something one of your colleagues told you to pick. Well, you said the word easy. I know why we choose high deductibles because it's mm-hmm. in the future. So we're putting that off like we procrastinate on a lot of different things. So we choose right. the higher deductible and says, you know, I'll deal with it when I get to it. And then when you get to it, it's like, uh-oh, I made the wrong choice. 
I know, I know. And you know, it's interesting because the survey showed that like about 40% of the people that we surveyed showed that they had a high deductible plan in excess of $1,000 per year. That's quite a big chunk of money. And then what's interesting is a lot of uh, families haven't prepared to make that deductible payment. So you got to plan early and really think about it because yes, you're paying a, a lower premium, but that deductible could creep up on you in case you need to pay for. So best thing to do is a little bit of prevention, a little bit of planning to make sure you have the resources to cover um, that deductible. And there's some great options out there. Like I said, like, you know, I think voluntary insurance is something we as parents should really at least we owe it ourselves to fully understand how they work. You know, Winnie, uh, I, I heard Jeff Bezos from Amazon uh, in, a, in a speech, and mm -hmm. he said we're in the age of personal responsibility. Yes. And he says there's four things, technology, food, medicine, and personal responsibility for the planet. And this falls under medicine, and, and it, it, it's personal responsibility. So we've got to be informed. Yes. I like the resources on the web. What's one of the resources as we wrap up that my audience can go to and help educate themselves? Well, I think a good place to start is the survey results because they're really eye-opening. And that's at aflac.com slash working mother. Winnie, this has been very engaging and very interesting, and I hope my audience got something from it. Thank you for being my guest on the Velder BB Show. Thank you so much for having me.